Hello and welcome to Unit 1, Section 2 of our algebra course hosted by Iridium Tutoring. Today we'll be briefly going over the order of operations and arithmetic properties of algebra. Let's get into this. First, we'll be talking about the commutative property. The commutative property states that changing the order of terms in either addition or multiplication end up having the same result. Notice that in this sentence is said addition or multiplication. This means that the commutative property will not work for division and subtraction. So the commutative property will only work for addition and multiplication. We can show the um, commutative property algebraically. Basically in algebra, there are these things called variables that just represent numbers. We'll be talking more about uh, variables in unit two of our algebra course. So A plus B equals B plus A. This states that changing the order of this equation will not affect its outcome. For example, if it was, if A represented one and if B represented two, then if it was two plus one, these two have to be the same thing because one plus two is three and two plus one is also three. If you look at the multiplication, that also has to be true if it was one times two and two times one. One times two is two and two times one is two. Now, if you go back to the addition, then you, you will see that if this was a subtraction sign, one minus two is negative one, whereas two minus one would be one. Negative one does not equal one. Also to show that something is not equal, you just write an equal sign and draw a slash through it. Here are some more examples. Three plus four equals four plus three. These two have to be the same because three plus four is seven and four plus three is also seven. And if you check below it, multiplication, three times four is 12 and four times three is also 12. So these have to be equal. Let's go on to the next property. The next property is the associative property. In a set of three or more numbers, the outcome is the same regardless of the grouping of the addends or multiplicands. Algebraically, this states that open parentheses, A plus B close parentheses plus C, sorry about that, equals A plus open parentheses, B plus C close parentheses. All this is doing is that it's bumping out the A and clumping together the B and C. Now this uh, property will also only work for addition and multiplication. So it will not work for division or subtraction. Now down here, the same thing is happening. It's just doing multiplication. Now, if you look at the examples, uh, we have some numbers. So three, which in this case is representing A plus B plus C in parentheses. And then over here, this is just showing B plus, oh, this is just showing A plus B, and then this is C. This 
sorry about my handwriting. Let me just redraw. A plus B plus C. This is all that it's doing. And you can solve this by using PEMDAS. So five plus four is nine. Nine plus three would be 12 equals 12. Now, if you go over here, five plus three is eight and eight plus four would also be 12 and 12 equals 12. That is true. And same goes for multiplication. You can solve this out the same way and you will get the same answers on both sides. Next, we'll be talking about the distributive property. The distributive property is very important in algebra and you will be using it a lot in the future. Basically, the distributive property is in, stated in this form right here. A times uh, B plus C in parentheses. By the way, all, all that's happening here is A is multiplying by B plus C. So as you can see by the arrows drawn there, all A is doing is it's distributing with B and it's distributing with C as it's seen right here. A times B, A times B plus A times C. That's all the distributive property does. Here's an example. Four times eight plus three equals four times eight plus four times three. So in this case, this is A, this is B, and then this is C. So A, A times C times B. That this is, and this these are adding together, and this is exactly what the distributive property states right there and we can verify this by doing it two ways so maybe you would solve this by doing four times by solving eight plus three eight plus three is 11 four times 11 is 44. next we can do this eight times four is 32 and then four times three is 12. now if you add those together you will get 44. So either way, this works. And that's what the distributive property states. Now we'll be talking about the order of operations. You might have mentioned that I said PEMDAS. The order of operations is said through PEMDAS. The PEMDAS is the order. And each letter in PEMDAS represents something. Like right here, P in PEMDAS is parentheses. E is exponents. M is multiplication. D is division. A is addition. S is subtraction. And you have to work down this way from P to S. That's how you have to work. And when working inside parentheses, you have to use PEMDAS too. For example, uh, inside a parentheses, four times five plus three, like this, you still have to use PEMDAS in here. So you have to do four times five first, which results in 20 plus three, which equals 23. Next, um, another interesting thing about PEMDAS or important thing that you should remember is with multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. The, this rule applies to both. So the order of multiplication and division are interchangeable. Work from left to right. For example, if it was four times five divided by, let's just say divided by um, 10, for simplicity's sake. In this case, 
you would think to yourself, what would you do here? Because I have multiplication and division here. Um, so you have to work from left to right. So you have to do four times five, then get that answer, which is 20, and then divide it by 10, which equals two. A better example of this would be 10 divided by five times three. So in this case, you would think that, oh yeah, M comes first. So you have to do five times three, but that is incorrect. You have to do 10 divided by five first, which results in two times three would be six. Same goes for addition and subtraction. Um, you have to work from left to right. Here we will solve through the equation stated on the last slide at the top here. You must use the order of operation by using PEMDAS. This is the initial equation right here. 5 plus 45 in parentheses plus 6 times 2 divided by 3. If you remember, I will, I will just write PEMDAS right here so that you can remember. PEMDAS. So first, you always have to solve the parentheses. So you see one parentheses right here. So you would solve 5 plus 45 first and get 50 right here. And usually... 50 actu actually is actually in parentheses. These don't disappear. But um, usually when solving, just if you remember that there has to be parentheses around these, then you don't have to write them. Uh, but writing the parentheses like this is just for simplicity's sake. So after you get the 50, you have to solve the other things because there's nothing to solve in the parentheses now. So now you go to exponents and there's no exponents in this equation. So you would move on to M and D. Remember left to right. So you see six times two first. So you have to do six times two first. So then it would be 50 plus 12 because we did six times two divided by three. Now you would divide 12 divided by three, which is four. And then since you already have the 50 here, now you can finally combine these two terms and get 54 as your final answer. Here is a better representation of PEMDAS in a triangle or a hierarchy almost. Thanks for watching this video, please Tune in to our next video, 1.3, Section 3 of Unit 1. Bye.